Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to be installing the water line for the wood shop here, but this is no ordinary water line. I already have the curb stop valve and a couple other fittings on there. I'm going to install a curb stop on this, just like that one back there. So the barn will be able to be shut off separately. I am also going to run a hydrant. I'm going to have to go around the corner and install that back there. We're going to need water up there in our new orchard once this is done. But the problem is, we are at bedrock right here, and this is about three and a half feet deep. Once all the fills in this area, this is going to be at about four feet deep. So what I'm going to do is kind of mimic the frost protected shallow foundation. This is how our house is built. We have a slab, it's on grade, and it has like these deep piers on the side. And then it has two inch XPS styrofoam going down and out like that. It looks exactly like that around the perimeter of the house. How a frost protected shallow foundation works is some of the heat from the building goes down into the ground and it has to go all the way out past this insulation before it can rise up. Heat travels towards cold. So if the only path is down and around like that, it's gonna keep the ground from heaving right there. That's all that that does is keeps the ground from heaving and kind of twisting the house up. What we need here is to stop it from freezing. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna run the water line right on top of the sand that I put in there. Then I'm gonna put in about 10 inches of sand. Sand is a real good insulator. I'm gonna put 10 inches of sand in and then I'm gonna put foam over the entire thing, two inch foam. I'm gonna put two layers of that in, and then I'm gonna start filling with sand again. Then once I get up to a certain level, I'm gonna run the gas line and the electric line through, and then fill it the rest of the way up. I'm gonna tamp it, and then it's gonna get vibrated along with the rest of the stuff. Where it pops up into the shed here, it's gonna have a hydrant, and it's gonna run into a drain. So when I close off the hydrant, the water drains down into here and any other water runs into the drain and the drain is gonna run to daylight that way. And then the cabinet that it pops up into inside the shop, I'll be able to keep that heated. It shouldn't need it at all, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So what I'm going to do here, where I connect the water line to that fitting right there, it's going to go down and then curve and then go along the sand. Right at that spot right there, I'm going to measure out seven feet and that's where the block is going to go, the outside of the block. We're putting a block wall in right here. Then we have four feet to the outside of the building and then I'll measure to the inside of the building and that's where everything's going to come up out of the ground. I filmed a bunch of stuff yesterday, putting this fitting together and stuff like that, and opening up this package from Home Depot. But, to my surprise, they sent me the wrong pecs. So I have what I need right there. So I just stopped last night. I was working on it, it was getting dark out. So I gave up on it last night and restarted it this morning. So now I'm gonna use the correct pecs and get going on this.
Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little break to cool off here, but I'll show you what I have so far. This ditch is a little bit precarious. Okay, I have to shovel this back out of here, but I have my yard hydrant that's gonna go for the orchard up there. This is gonna get connected with this T right here. This is loose right now. What I'm gonna do is build up this area until this fitting and that fitting are about level. I have, oh, I think three more inches that I can go up. What I'm gonna put down here, first I'm gonna put down a piece of landscape fabric, then I'm gonna put down some pea stone and then landscape fabric over the top of that. I'm gonna slide a bucket up on this and just tape it up out of the way. And then I'm gonna put a piece of landscape fabric at the bottom of that and then bring the bucket down, wrap the bucket in the landscape fabric and then fill the bucket from the top with more washed pea gravel. Then I'll wrap the landscape around the pipe here and put a couple zip ties on it. And then it'll have nice clear draining and it'll be connected to this. For those of you who've never seen a yard hydrant before, when you close it up there, it has a plunger that comes all the way down and it goes right into this area. When you close it up there, all the water drains down through this pipe and it comes out this hole. That's why this is gonna get wrapped separately in the landscape fabric and then the entire thing with the gravel. So it has an easy place to go and this little hole here never gets plugged up. So, oh, and I also forgot, I have to get the PEX on here after I get the bucket on, of course. I gotta get the PEX on here and crimp it and test that for leaks first before I seal everything up. Then, once that stuff's all leak-free, then I can get everything sealed up. Okay, let me show you this before I get it in. This is the curb stop. This is the extension rod here, got a cap on it. This is the curb box. And if I can do this without having this roll off, this rod right here, on the far end, this flat right here, that's what your key, the thing that's in that other curb stop up there, that's what your key grabs a hold of to turn this, which connects to the tab on the valve right there. I'll show you that when I put it in, but I thought I would show you this before I start putting it all in there. And I'll show you the the hydrant a little more close up as well. But for now, I gotta complete that water line through the trench and then I'm gonna cap it off on this end and we'll test it for leaks. Test for leaks. Turn this on and we'll give it a few minutes. If there's no leaks, then I'll get this part set up. That is the bucket with the pea gravel under it and filled with it and a bunch of landscape cloth. Then I'll get that curb box attached to this and I'll attach that to the board up there. Both of these are going to be standing up attached to those boards. Then I'll kind of tidy this up down here and start filling this with sand.
so we have the valve there. It's completely covered in a heavy duty landscape fabric sock. And it's sitting on a pile of pea gravel that has landscape fabric over the top of that. Then I'll get this bedded in a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna fill this entire thing with the pea gravel and then tape some landscape fabric to the outside and zip tie it to the pole. Then I'm gonna fill around it with the rest of the pea gravel that I have and that will be done. Then I'll move on to the curb stop. Getting a little bit of help from a turkey here and there. Okay, the yard hydrant is complete. I'm gonna trim this stuff off, but I'll do that later. Now, I gotta get the curb box on. And how I'll do that is to pull this rod out, pull it all the way out, take the cotter pin off, connect it to the top of the curb stop, then slide the curb box over the top of that and connect it to that board. I just need it standing fairly straight. As we backfill, I'll straighten all this stuff out with the level. Then, once this is in place and strapped up to that board, then I'll go to the bottom and I'm gonna wrap some landscape fabric around that as well. Okay, all done for today. I got the yard hydrant in, the curb stop, and I have my line running to the other side of the trench. Now, the next time I work on this, I need to know exactly where the hydrant goes on this side. It's a shorter version of that one, and it's gonna come up inside the building. So I gotta know exactly where that is. That shouldn't be that hard. Then I'm gonna fill this once I get that hydrant in, I'm gonna fill this trench to that red line, nearly there already. I gotta do some tamping. I'll get the sand moist and then tamp it in, get it nice and packed in there. Once that's done, I'm gonna put styrofoam over the top of it, two layers, and then I'm gonna cut a piece of styrofoam that fits right here to make kind of a wall. The stuff on the bottom is gonna stop right where that wall starts and then I'll fill this whole back area with sand. That'll give me my vertical protection for these pipes. And then as the wall is being put in, I'll put two inch insulation behind the wall as well. All of this should be just fine as far as freezing goes. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. Like I said, I'm waiting on that hydrant and when the hydrant comes, it's gonna be treated the same as this. It's going to have a bucket and then pea gravel and then it's going to get 
the landscape fabric zip tied around it just like that. Once that's done, the blocks are going to go right in here somewhere and that should be a real interesting process as well. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.